is happening, people? How are you doing? Oh, oh there we go. <laughs> if I can operate a computer. How are you doing today? So I am finally feeling a little bit better. And of course, first thing I want to do is hop on here and record a video. Uh, and it's funny, while I've been sick, I've just been like sitting there thinking of videos. <laughs> and one of them I wanted to do was five essential or five must know, whatever you want to call it, uh, pentatonic sequences. So uh, you guys seem to love like pentatonic videos. And I was like, well, you know, like sequencing your scales is such a crucial, crucial part to um, not making it sound like a scale anymore, really. And uh, so I have five different ones here for you, ascending and descending. And uh, I'm going to leave it up to you guys. If you would like a part two of this, let me know down below. And I'll gladly make a part two. I've done this with a few other videos, and you guys seem to like the sequels to them. So let me know if you'd like a part two. Um, you can get tabs for this lesson over on my website. That link is down below in the description as well. And lesson packs and all that stuff. And let's go ahead and get to the video. Yo. Okay, so let's go ahead and get started. Look at this. Again, remember to get my hair out of the way. See? You guys don't have to yell at me this time. I'm just kidding, of course. Um, so I figured, uh, you know, I was going to rock them on of E, but let's go A minor. Kind of like those, like a uh, little bit of a chunkier sound to some of these. So um, like I said, I'm just going to go ahead and play you all five of them so you can hear them if you even want to learn them. And then I'll break each one down. So here's examples one through five. <laughs> So example number one, like I said, these are all kind of out of A minor, not kind of, they all are out of A minor. <laughs> um, and it went like this, so I was kind of going. And I'm going to show you the basic idea of each one, and it just walks its way through the A minor pentatonic scale. So if you do not know your pentatonic scale, mainly box one, some of them are kind of branching out, but uh, I would go learn that first before you try to conquer any of these sequence ideas. So the first one goes like this, I'm just going to go. I'm going 5 to 8 on the low E string, then 5 to 7 on the A. Okay. Now I'm going to go back to 8 on the low E string. Okay. So then I go back to 5 7 on the A, and then 5 on the D. So I'm throwing in some hammer ons and pull offs. You could pick it all if you wanted to. Um, the way I probably normally play is like that, where I go 5 hammer on 8. Then five hammer on seven, eight on the low E, five hammer on seven, and then five on the D. So basically, anywhere there's a double note, I pick with a lead, I lead into it with a pick, and I hammer on to the next note. So then I just kind of move it down the scale. So I go to five seven on the A, five seven on the D. Now here you have to roll your finger to get back to that seven on the A. So then you go back to the D five seven, and then you go to five on the G. So. And you're just dropping down a string from where you started the last time. So last time we started on the A, so we're just going to start on the D this time. So that one all together slow would go like this. With the next one, what I wanted to do was, I didn't want to have all of them just moving across all six strings. I wanted to throw one in here that's probably um, a little bit different than maybe what people were instantly expecting. So this one, like I said, I wanted us to move through different pentatonic boxes all on two strings. So we're going like this. Again, we're just you know, we're sequencing, uh, sequencing the scale. We're putting it in a particular order. So we're going to start up here in box number three. For the A minor, and we're going to be going to uh, was this 12 to 10 twice on the high E. Then you go 13 to 10 on the B. Then you go 10 to 8 on the high E and B. Notice how I'm doubling the high E string, and I just go to the B. So it's... now I'm going to go to box one, which is 8 to 5 on the high E and B. And then 5 3. And end it however you want, you know. Um... But 
Um, that one's pretty simple. You know, once you get that initial... Again, you could pick it all if you wanted to. Total like Zach Wildy kind of thing. I just prefer, um, I just like the sound of like, you know, legato when picking versus picking at all. All right, now we need another descending one that walks across all six strings, and here we are. So this one. Sorry, getting on a little riff tangent there. And uh, so basically, you know, we're doing this. That'd be one time through it. So I'm going five, eight, five on the high string. Again, hand rounds and pull offs. Then eight on the B. Then I go to five on the high. Then I'm going to go eight, pull off five on the B. And then seven on the G. So. Now, this one, you know, there's a lot of notes involved in it. But get that shape down. Just like with any of these, get the first shape down and get to where you can, you know, re repeat it with a metronome. Actually, that's kind of hard to loop that one <laughs> as I'm messing up. Okay, now you just want to move it up a string in the scale. So I'm going 5 to 8 on the B. And 5. So it's 5, 8, 5, 8 on the B, 5, 8, 5 on the B again, and 7 on the G. Move up a string, you're going to go 5, 8, 5, then you go 7 on the G, 5 on the B, 7, 5 on the G, 7 on the D. And like I said, you're just continuing to walk that across the scale. So that's five seven. So seven five seven five seven. So that would be example. I don't know what number we're on, but that's one of them. That is definitely one of them. All right, so the next one we're gonna do, uh, example number four, is one of my all-time favorite ones, just because of the building sound that it has. They all have the, this kind of like building sound and stuff like that, but this one was always one of my favorite ones when I would hear players do this, and I still, when I hear them play it, I'm like, I love that lick. Uh, but now I'm like, but I know that lick now. So it goes like this. Um, so and already I love it, you know? Uh, to me, it's like this very like Paul Gilberty. I think he does that in one of his live solos when he's eventually like, Whatever the solo is, I don't remember now, but um, he has a lick like this, and he goes. So it's seven pull off five on the A, and he goes eight pull off five on the low. So how do you play it? We're gonna go like this: it's seven pull off five on the A, eight on the low. E. So then you go five hammer on seven on the A. Then you're gonna go to five on the D. Then you go back to the A string, and it's 7 pull 5. And that's actually it for the lick, you know? So another one that you just want to get there, and you just repeat it, you know? As fast as you want to go, um, speed should not be your initial goal. You know, you want to make sure they're, they're pretty clean. Um, I'm by no means the cleanest player, but, you know, I get gets the job done. So let's move it down a string. So we're going to go... Uh, our fingers want to go to a different sequence. Uh, I'm going to go to the D string here. We're going to go 7, pull off 5, 7 on the A. Then I go back to the D, 5, hammer on 7, 5 on the G. 7 pull off 5 on the D. So, boom. Pentatonic heaven. And one thing you can do cool with this one, it's not going to be tabbed out, but you could do this in octave. So, you know, you can move a lot of these around like that and move it down again. And one thing is all these sequences, you can move them it doesn't have to be this vertical approach. You can do like this very nice horizontal. And 
then the final one, number five, I thought, I just throw this in here. I've done a video on this lick before. Uh, it's the Eric Johnson Descending Fives. Hoo I actually had another lick plan. I was like, hey, how can you not have number five be a five note sequence? Come on now. So um, this is what it is. <laughs> I think it is pretty essential. You know, you could also flip around the other way. Uh, when you ascend, like, so this one, the way I'm getting ready to do it right now requires two down picks. You can ascend fives, but what happens is it requires two up picks. And uh, you kind of have to slant your pick a different way. So we're not going to talk about that one uh, right now. But. So we're going to be going like this. We're going to be going uh, eight to five on the high E and B. Which is just down, up, down, up. Then I go to 7 on the G. Okay. And what you're going to do next is you're going to do another set of 5, starting on the B. So you're going to go 8 to 5 on the B, eight, uh, 7 to 5 on the G, and you go to 7 on the D. So that's your next set of 5, starting from a string um, lower than what you were before. Now what you have to watch is you're picking. So the way I'm picking is I'm going down, up, down, up, down, down, up, down, up, down. Notice there's two downs. I always start and end on a down. So I go down, up, down, up, down, down, up, down, up, down. And I continue that through the rest of the scale. I start on the G. I found this way of picking has been really helpful for a lot of these Eric Johnson style runs. Uh, I use it all the time, even just like in my normal like legato playing. Right, right there, I did. I went. So um, once I kind of got the hang of it, it came very, very natural. You know. All right, hey, hope you guys enjoyed that lesson. Like I said, get those tabs, lesson packs, all that stuff down below in the description. I offer Skype lessons right now. There's a pretty long waiting list for Skype lessons though, so you can contact me to be put on the waiting list if you like, uh, but uh, there is uh, quite a bit of a wait right now. So just a heads up, because I have been getting a lot of interest in those, which I totally appreciate. Um, just just kind of giving you guys a heads up though about that. So other than that, peace out homies. Keep on rocking. I'll see you Friday, or I don't, I don't know what day this video is going on. I'll see, you'll see me. I'll see you, you'll see me. And high five. Later, guys.